Today's target for the cap bank is these two 32 ohm speakers that I pulled out of a TV after I shot it with the air cannon. I've hooked them up in series and they're hooked up to the cap bank. Uh, let's charge up and see what these will do, if anything. Let's see what will happen to these speakers. Charging, charge, and fire. Well, that fully discharged the bank with a puff of smoke, and it looks like I have two blown-out speaker cones here. That got both of them. Here's the speakers flipped over. The wires actually stayed on the terminals. All the damage happened at the voice coils. Here's another look at two cat bank destroyed old useless dirty speakers. Next target for the cat bank is this micro switch recovered from a microwave oven. This is a normally closed micro switch. Let's see how it takes this overload. Let's try popping this micro switch. Charging, charged, and fire. seems to have blown up. Here's the remains of the normally closed microwave oven micro switch after one shot from the cap bank. Here's a second micro switch from the same microwave oven. This one is a normally open as opposed to normally closed. Let's see what it does. Let's try this micro switch. Charging, charged, and fire. Well, I heard part of that one hit the wall behind me, the rest of it to uh, appears to have stayed together. Here's a quick last look at two micro switches as disassembled by the capacitor bank. Here's a little uh, power input board from the same microwave the micro switches came from. Let's see what, if anything, will happen to it with the cap bank. Charging, charged, and fire. Huge bang, some bits went flying, but I think I can shoot this again. Let's try this board again. Charging, charged, and fire. That looks like it did some damage to the inductor.
I'll take one more shot at this before binning it. Charging, charged, and fire. And fittingly, that last shot went off and was very loud. Here's a last look at that little power conditioning board from the microwave. The inductor windings wound up quite misshapen and the plastic insulation was also shattered off the ferrite, which I believe also cracked from the discharge.